서브타이틀의 장벽을 장벽도 아니죠 한 1인치 정도 되는 그 장벽을 뛰어넘으면 여러분들이 훨씬 더 많은 영화를 즐길 수 있습니다 Once you overcome the one inch tall barrier of subtitles you will be introduced to so many more amazing films <웃음> The iconic speech that Bong Joon-ho delivered at the Oscar couldn't be time better in the wake of globalization as we become more and more accustomed with films from other countries therefore removing the barrier of mentioning film as foreign Yet the debate has still died down on whether to watch the film with subtitles or not. The biggest argument that I always heard is how the text on the bottom third sometimes come across as distracting. We become more focused on the writings rather than the beautifully imagery presented on the screen. For others who learn English as a second language, it became necessary to watch films with subtitles, considering a lot of films we watch are Hollywood produced. Although not exactly the same sentiment shared above, I myself who learned English as a second language also found subtitles off-putting at the very least. For me, sometimes it could ruin my film experience. It usually happens in dialogue-heavy movies or comedies that rely on their punchlines on characters' dialogue. I remember watching a scene in Where the Millers where somehow the subtitles didn't match up with his comedic timing. Rose, listen to me. I can explain. You are making Five hundred thousand dollars, and you were only going to pay me thirty. You're getting thirty grand. I'm getting a thousand. You guys are getting paid. The iconic meme of "You guys are getting paid" appears too quickly, as it was shown when Casey was still delivering her lines. Although not as severe as in the past, there are still times in Indonesia, especially in the TV industry, where the placement of subtitles just doesn't mess up with the desired intention due to rush on work. Other times, subtitles also give us clues into what's going to happen next. This iconic scene when Green Golden came to attack on May should come across as a jump scare for the audience. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. <laughs> Something that was unexpected for us, but it was a different story from my perspective, was already able to identify the meaning of M dash for interruption of the character's dialogue. And so like a kid I was at that time, I closed my eyes and ears, expecting something bad that will happen, especially since the placement of subtitles took me long enough to notice, giving a different viewing experience that creates anticipation through the cue given by the subtitles. And I feel like most would think that these are just small things that happen in the moments of film. So why do the creator of this channel need pick this trivial stuff? Though the subtitles give much more advantage rather than disadvantage, especially considering that I live outside English-speaking countries. Of course, I would agree on that. Without subtitles, I wonder just how many films can I actually consume in my life, knowing only Indonesian, English, and Korean to an extent. Without subtitles as well, I believe there won't be any studies on cinema after the sound era. Dubbing would be the solution to overcome the limitation of subtitles, but dubbing seemingly presents more problem in the consensus eye. I remember watching SpongeBob SquarePants every day on the television before going to school. Most animated stories in my country were served as dubs to accommodate children's accessibility. But with the sacrifice of some jokes that didn't land well, the episode of The Great Snail Race where Squidward got his nail and the delivery man pronounced his name as Mr. Tennis Ball instead of Tentacles. But it's had track a lot with the Indonesian dub. Terima kasih, terima kasih, terima kasih, terima Hong Kong movies were also popular back in the days to be televised with dubbing. It's obviously clear that the universal problem of dub was the intonation and delivery that mostly always comes out as cringe and take away from the movie immersion. Not to mention live action dub dialogue will never mess with the character's mouth movement. That certainly ruined the experience. Oh yeah, di karnaval musim gugur kenapa kau tidak melakukan tari pemandu sorakmu? All in all, the problem in subtitles is just something that could be tolerated considering it comes across as small moments in the movie experience. But the reason that I need pick these things is because it is something that can be fixed. A small modification where the caption creator just needs more focus and context to enhance the viewing experience for the audience. Movies have become part of our culture, and for most, we are accustomed to the cues that film gave to us, including the cues of subtitles. As such, I believe that it is better for the caption creator to put themselves in the audience's shoes. 
to be smart enough to distinguish subtitles and film cues for maximum viewing experience.